Why, hello there! Welcome back! Or more, welcome me back. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Uh, we won't get into it at the moment, but I'm sure we will at one of these videos. Um, today we are doing a teardown of an EVGA GTX 650. Uh, this is one of the cards that I have retired into storage, and uh, I do these very basic, simple teardowns, not really for content, just for people who don't know what they're doing, who want to get into PCs and was like, I want to tear apart my graphics card, but I don't know anything about it. It's like, this is a simple way to show you what is inside your graphics card, as well as a proper way to tear it down without hurting anything. So first of all, flip the graphics card over. Uh, we have a regular Phillips head. Put that aside. We have a small Phillips head. We're going to need that. And we have this little tool set that's really cheap on Amazon. And the only thing you will need out of this is, of course, the screw thing. And this, I believe it's this one. I uh, know it's this one. Yep, this 5M hex nut bit. I believe it's a hex nut bit. Don't quote me on it. This is what it looks like if you need an example. It's just so... It's just so you can take off the uh, bracket here. Now I will be changing up how I do these uh, videos a little bit. I think I'm just going to start putting these bits in here this because they go in and they stay in so we'll just do that so to start off you're gonna want to take out these four screws there's really nothing else you need to take out besides these um, you do want to do them in a diagonal slash X pattern releasing one a little bit then doing the one across a little bit then one like this then like this this because there is a die underneath here, it's not covered by an IHS. I believe you call it an IHS. Um, it can crack if you don't do that. So loosen them bit by bit. And while we're doing this, we'll, we'll talk. Um, I have actually been wanting to do videos, but the, part of, the other part of me has just been super uninspired due to just life and everything of that nature. And, yeah, it sucks, but life right now is pretty hard for everybody, I imagine. I have been trying to get a job at this Best Buy, and it just seems like every time I get uh, further on with this job, it seems like, oh, sorry, we forgot this. Oh, this is going on now. It's like I'm not... An a horrible person, I'm not going to be like, hey, you know, I'm a little angry, but whatever. I can say I'm a little disappointed. Um, we do also have to take off, sorry, this, this nut here, it just requires a regular Phillips. Um, I'm used to the camera being more this way and less downward. I'm trying to do it a bit better having it downward, but so we need that off, set that to the side. And it should just pop off like that. And you want to be aware, you're, you do have a fan wire. Probably should have said that before. Um, you do have a fan wire, so be careful not to yank the cooler off. And you can just wiggle that sucker off. I do have a pair of tweezers I normally use. But I, A, I sort of forgot them, and B, this isn't really like... This doesn't really need tweezers. This is a nice connector that sticks out a bit, has these nice little edges around it, which is great. I love that. I really wish more um, manufacturers would do that with these coolers because these break way too easily in a lot of cases. So there really isn't much else you can do. You can take, if you need to take the uh, heatsink off this cooler, there's a couple, there's one way to do it. The fan is what's keeping the heat sink to, to this plastic shroud. I said cooler earlier. P plastic shroud, sorry. So there's these screws right here, right here, right here, 
And I think that's actually it. Oh no. Right here. They're all on the outer side. And if you need to actually remove the fan itself from the cooler, there's three smaller ones right further in. If I can show you. There's that one, there's that one, there's that one. So if you need to remove that from the cooler, you can do that. Uh, as for removing the bracket, as I do in every video, all you do is you take your five, I think it's millimeter, five millimeter hex nut bit, you unscrew it, toss that aside, and you just rinse and repeat. with these uh, things. There you go, you're done. And that's fully teared down GTX, or EVGA GTX 650. Uh, the smaller variant, that is. <laughs> really got this graphics card. I'll do that after this. Anyways, um, so that's it for this tear down. I'll be moving on to another one after this. Uh, thank you for watching, and if there's any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. Um, that's about it. See you in the next one. Next one.